Hi guys and welcome back to Buy New Hampshire Now. I am thrilled to be here again with my uh, colleague and friend, Dominic Di Mar Maria. You got it. You right got it. Time? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so welcome back. And today we will be discussing how do you pick the town you're going to move to, right? Buying a house is hard, but it's also like, where do I live? Where do I decide to go? What do I love? How do we go about making that decision? Sure. So, first yeah, of I, all, have, I have this conversation with people all the time. So uh, a lot of our clients and people who we help move to New Hampshire have only been here maybe once or not at all. So um, trying to help them find a place in a state this size, which is relatively small comparatively to a lot of other states, um, can be tough if you don't know anything about it. So, um, you know, I think the first thing that people really talk about when they decide where they want to be is community. So they want to know that there's a group of like-minded people near them, which is why we have so many resources that um, we'll do like our local guides, which will show you like what's available around there. Um, so when you moved to New Hampshire, Carla, what, what did you look for uh, for where you'd settled? Yeah, great question. Um, I did visit a fair amount of times before I moved. So, you know, being a Free State Project participant, I did come up for Pork Fest and for Liberty Forum and for folks who are new to what we do here that, of course, is concentrating, you know, libertarians in, in New Hampshire. And so, you know, we encourage people to come up as often as possible to sort of get a lay of the land. And so we did a lot of adventuring just to have a sense of what the state is. Now, New Hampshire is very unique in the sense that, you know, I like to describe it as a tiny little country of its own. But, you know, we have a short little seacoast. We have mountains. There's lake life. There's, you know, a little bit of city life. There's just very strong ur uh, rural sort of around a town square sort of life. So I think it's really important to come experience it so that people get a sense of, oh, I like this or I don't like this. By way of example, a lot of people will say, oh, I want, you know, 10 acres where I never see a neighbor because they're coming from like crazy city life. But then once you get up here, yeah. you're like, mm, is that what I need? So for me, I thought that's what I needed. That was not what I needed. So I'm back in the city. I live in West Manchester. And, um, and for me, it was an issue of really figuring out what I love, what I don't love, and what would be the best fit for me here in New Hampshire. I know for my wife and I, when we first decided that New Hampshire was going to be an option for us, we took a, a car trip and we spent uh, a week basically driving around, going to different locations. We, we toured, I would say, I, I, I mean, percentage wise, probably only a quarter of the state. But I mean, we hit all the different counties, kind of saw everything. And uh, the, the censure for us was going to a new meter uh, potluck, a uh, new mover potluck with the FSP and just talking to people who were automatically friendly towards us in the sense that we had similar ideals and things like that. Um, and that really, that drove it home, you know, that, that made us say, yes, I think this is actually a viable option for us. And then for my wife, who is a cheesemaker by trade, um, that kind of decided where we were going to be because there's only a handful of them in New Hampshire. So we started applying to jobs. So economic opportunity is something that's uh, a big deal for people. And New Hampshire does have a lot of industry and a lot of different areas uh, of opportunity for people for jobs. So I think you can pretty much find something anywhere as long as you're, you know, the southern portion of the state has a lot more of those kind of opportunities. Um, not to say that you can't find them up north, but it does uh, tend to be a little easier down south. So. Yeah, and, and you raise a good point, you know, being close to economic opportunities, obviously that would be more in the southern part of the state. But over the past decade, things have significantly changed here. We now have the internet in New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm kidding, but of course, you know, we do actually have high speed internet almost everywhere now. And for those super remote locations, there is also the option of something like Starlink. Mm -hmm. So that is changing the landscape of where people can look to live, because if you're working from home, you know, the North Country does become an option. Yeah. So 
I think a lot of people romanticize like the North Country too, thinking that it's oh, it's, I'm gonna live in a cabin in the woods and I'm gonna be all by myself. And it's like, I mean, you can, but you don't have to be. I mean, you're still like the thing to remember is um, tip to tip that you can get from the top of New Hampshire to the southern portion of New Hampshire in about two, two and a half, well, two and a half to three hours, I would say. So you're not super, super far comparatively to a lot of other places to get anywhere. Um, no, and. They, I, I would say you're not more than a 40 minute drive, even in the most remote places to some place where you can, you know, get your prescriptions filled and, you know, get your groceries or something. So, yeah, that that's a great point. And for people who aren't that familiar with New Hampshire, driving here is actually quite pleasant. Like if you're into, you know, a nice drive, the roads are generally pretty good and um you know and it's 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 not that bumper to bumper before the show dominic and i were talking about you know just having to go to new york city and that sort of pressure and all of that that is not the lifestyle here so i mean you might find it in the summer around the lakes but uh, like if you're up there on winnipesaukee or something like that but that's about it <laughs> sure and that of course is seasonal and it is tourism related um but that is a good point because places like portsmouth and areas around the lakes uh do kind of change in flavor depending on the season and that should be a consideration for people who are looking to to buy you know you mentioned the 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 community i think also looking at things like maybe taxes and zoning like more of the practical spreadsheety number stuff uh is something that folks do look at um i think uh that's a whole other topic because i those, those people who want to live by themselves in the woods uh, I think one of the first things I explained to them is uh, that there are, I think, 12 or 13 towns in New Hampshire who have no zoning whatsoever. And then they hear that and they're like, okay, let's just limit my search to those places. That's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, for folks who are curious, you can go to the nhzoningatlas.org. That is actually a really dynamic tool that people can use to literally put in an address and look up the zoning on on that level, granular level as, you know, this street address, what does my zoning look like there? Um, another consideration I, I find with a lot of clients is school district. Is that something you see? Uh, yeah, uh, not for me in particular, because we don't have kids at this point. Um, but the a uh, lot of folks who are concerned with that, they will talk about the school districts. I know there are a lot of great school districts, a lot of great private schools in New Hampshire as well, if you're into that. And the uh, homeschooling uh, laws in New Hampshire are, are pretty great as well. So, Right. And that circles back to that notion of community as well, right? So within 40 minutes of driving, you can find a homeschooling co-op where kids with similar values and shared things and expeditions and going to the Lego Museum or the Science Center or whatever it is, right? So again, I think for, for people looking at New Hampshire, it's good to know nothing's that far away, but you can be as far away as you want. Um, but that really, you know, when you're looking to see how you're going to pick your town, you probably want to be looking at, you know, like, what are your resources? Like, what price points are you at? If you're buying in downtown Portsmouth, different value part position than up in Pittsfield, New Hampshire, say, right? Absolutely. absolutely. And that varies uh, greatly from town to town. So that's all things we can talk to the, the, the client about when we start putting together a search for them. So, you know, you look at pricing, you look at sort of the culture, of course, something like lifestyle. I mean, I know cheese is important in your life. <laughs> uh, but, you know, for me, it was, oh, I like to go to museums. I like to be close enough, say, to Boston so that I can get down there to see a rock show if I want or whatever. So that would probably be something people should look at as well you know, urban, rural, what's around. Um, yeah, it's, um, in general, I would say New Hampshire isn't necessarily a big walkability state. Like there's not, I mean, there's areas of each of the major towns that are walkable and like, but you're not going to like, there's no, I shouldn't say there's no mass transit because there is obviously there's bus lines, there's trains, there's all those kinds of things, but it's not like New York or Boston where you can jump on a subway and get from one place to the other. So that's definitely a concern for a lot of people. So if you're going to be commuting from one place to another, 
you're going to need good transportation and, and that kind of thing. So something to keep in mind. Yeah. So, um, and then for sometimes for our older clients, you know, something like a proximity and in the same way, like the parents want to know where the schools are. Some of our older clients want to know about where's the hospital, how easy is it to get to this location? Yeah. And I think that, again, that goes back to the fact that the state's not all that large to start with. So there are primary cares all over the state. And then like the major hospitals are going to be in your bigger cities, which are commutable from pretty much anywhere within an hour to an hour and a half, I would say, depending on where you are in the state. Wonderful. So um, anything else you think we should, you know, let folks know when they're considering moving, buying in New Hampshire? Uh, I hate to say the dreaded R word. <laughs> <laughs> the, the R word that you're referring to is the rentals. So I think um, a great idea for a lot of folks is to uh, rent even a short term rental for a while during your house search. Um, you could come up here, rent for two weeks in a short term Airbnb or something along those lines and kind of give yourself a home base to explore around. Um, it's just a nice idea to kind of get out there, talk to some folks and see the areas of the state that you want to be in before committing. Um, as a real estate agent, it can be kind of frustrating for us because it can delay the process of getting you uh, that place that you want and everything moves so quickly up here that um, you know, it can be uh, prohibitive sometimes, but at the same time, it's a great idea to get your feet wet and really explore the state. Well, wonderful. Do you think anything else that we kind of left off the list? So we had price, culture, lifestyle, taxes, zoning, amenities, economic opportunities, school districts, proximity to hospitals, whether you have internet or not, whether you have cheese or not. <laughs> Uh, no, I think you covered it all. I think that's, um, I mean, there's, there's, you can get really granular and get down to little things too, but I think those are overall the, the majority of it. So, Okay, fantastic. How can folks reach you? Uh, I'm available to, to email me anytime at uh, Dominic at PorcupineRealEstate.com. Okay, fantastic. And I'm Carla at PorcupineRealEstate.com. Thanks for joining us for Buy New Hampshire Now. We will see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you.